Now, big topic for the week. India's semicon industry is expected to touch $109 billion by 2030. That means industry will grow more than twofold over the next six years to reach this mark. This is said by Minister of State for Electronics and IT, Mr. Jitin Prasada, recently in Lok Sabha. So what does this mean? This means as per the industry reports, the demand for semiconductor in India is poised for 15% of growth to $1 trillion by 2030. Currently, it stands at $45 billion of uh, size. And well, this indicates that India would approximately account for 10% of the market share of the direct or global semiconductor consumption and approximately 20% of the Asia-Pacific region. Well, the government impetus and fiscal support is being planned in a significant manner. Well, so far, the total cumulative investment of 1.48 lakh crores has been approved by the government. 13 semiconductor design companies have been set up and 50% of the fiscal support of the project costs to construct the chips uh, shall be given by the government. To understand this better, uh, this opportunity size and the space for local players and the possible challenges to look out for, we are joined by an analyst. All right, to understand the entire landscape of semicon industry, the potential challenges and the opportunity size, we are joined in by Mr. Kathir Thandavaran, partner for Deloitte India. Mr. Kathir, very warm welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Since we understand that India currently imports 98% of the semiconductor components, this is for the industry reports, the locally sourced semicon market industry is expected to reach $34 billion in next six years and the current size is 4 to $5 billion. What do this indicate? This means that there's a significant potential for localization here. If you look at semiconductor market, which is currently about 45 billion, which is expected to reach about 110 to 120 billion in the next six years, growing at 15, 16 percent. And with, with uh, expected investment through the government initiatives, we expect that in the next three, four years, there is a significant investment in um, the outsourcing of semiconductor assembly and testing. Um, uh, both both on, on uh, display as well as um, uh, semiconductor fab. And as well as about four to five major investment in in, in in fab manufacturing, we see that there is a lot of scope and an opportunity for localization. See, in in 2030, India will be 10 percent of the global semiconductor market, and we potentially see that actually at least about 30 40 percent of the, the the requirement semiconductor requirement is domestically manufactured. So tell us, you know, many uh, private players are taking a lot of keen interest in this uh, ecosystem. But what are the allied sectors that stand to benefit uh, if uh, this ecosystem were to flourish? See, I would like to look at on two aspects. Taking the semiconductor value chain itself. Um, uh, uh, see, one, one major area of focus is R&D. See, if you look at currently India ho um, hosts about 20% of the global workforce in, in semiconductor design. And we expect that that will grow up five, uh, fivefold in the ne next four to five years. So that that itself will bring a significant change in the R&D ecosystem of the country. The second dimension, what we would like to see is what uh, who will benefit from the semiconductor investment and the localization. We would see the end user industries like electronics manufacturing, all right, thank you so much for joining us and weighing in on the topic. But with that, it's uh, time for us to slip into a short break. Don't go anywhere after the break. We're getting you our RWI champion.